Yo, what's up guys, Sergio Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I am going to be playing with the most skillful deck in Clash Royale. Last video was the most hated deck. In today's video, we are going to be using the most skillful deck, which is this Minor Magic Archer Quick Cycle deck. As you guys can see, we don't have a big spell, but this deck is actually really fun and really solid. I'm actually playing in my secondary account because we are going to be playing a Grand Challenge. My main account is already max, so that's why... We are going to be using the secondary account just to make sure if we end up winning, for example, the Grand Challenge, it's actually worth it instead of like wasting the cards won. So before I start with any gameplay, before I start with any matches, I do want to quickly mention to you guys that I'm going to be traveling to Mexico actually tomorrow. So I'm already like pre-recording and already um, yeah preparing like some videos to make sure the first few days I'm there, like probably I'm going to have like a jet lag. The travel is like quite long. So I'm actually going to be pre-recording a few videos for the first few days. So don't worry, guys. If, for example, let's say after this video, I'm going to upload another one. And it's not in the new season yet because, of course, the season is about to end in two days and 14 hours. Um, don't worry. I will make sure to bring, like, I'm making sure to bring a laptop. I'm going to be doing videos and streams from there as well. But I just wanted to, yeah, kind of, like, let you guys know. Just in case, for example, this video or next video is already, um, like, when the new season is out. But you guys see that it's still like in the current season. That's why I just want to quickly yeah, give you guys an explanation. So yeah, I would say let's just start with the video and let's hop into the first match. Okay, let's go guys. Looks like we found the first match. So what I'm probably gonna do is try to get like three or yeah, I guess like three videos in today's video. I actually did it on my Spanish channel as well. Where, for example, with the first um, video, I went to 4-0 in the Grand Challenge playing like Logbait. I think after that, I went like 8-0 playing with a uh, Balloon Psycho deck. And then I finished the Grand Challenge 12-0, winning it with like a Lava Mining deck. So I'm probably going to do like something similar on this channel, on the English channel. Trying to first, in today's video, get to 4 wins with this Wall Breaker Quick Psycho deck. Then the next 4 wins until 8 wins. I guess we're going to... I don't know with what deck, but I guess I can play like... Um, yeah, two minutes, as I said, I don't know what deck, but I'm just going to make sure, like, I will get to 8 wins. And then the next video after that, I will try to get to 12 wins. So that's basically the goal. And that's basically what I will be uploading, like, the next few days. And then after that, once I'm, like, all set and once I have, like, the things ready in Mexico, I will, yeah, obviously make sure to do the videos and stuff like that from there. So don't worry, as I said, doesn't mean that I won't be able to do any videos or any streams for a long time. It just means like that the next few videos are gonna be like pre-recorded a little bit. Okay, I missed the bomb tower. So I guess I'm gonna go with Tornado trying to activate the king. Okay, I guess it's fine. Misclick on the bomb tower as I said, but yeah, we did get the activation. So looking pretty solid. I think this matchup is decent. The only bad thing about this matchup is his queen. Like his queen can get really annoying. Because obviously, as you guys can see, like we don't have any big spell. Our only spell is Lock. Well, I guess Nido is also a spell. But we don't have like a really good spell against like um, Queen. So we do need to watch out a little bit with that. I guess we can play Minor on defense. And some of you might think, why Minor instead of Valkyrie? I think Minor is worth it more. Just to make sure that um, we have Valkyrie saved for like the Hawks. Just in case. If like, for example, he out cycles our Bomb Tower. Obviously, Bomb Tower is like the preferred counter. Like, I'd rather play Bomb Tower. For example, in this case, I much rather play Bomb Tower than Valkyrie. And, okay, looks like he has Poison. That's interesting. So, I guess the Bomb Tower will always get a lot of value. Because most of the times, this deck is actually being played with... Um, what's it called? Earthquake. So, yeah, let's go with Magic Arch in the back. Let's see what he's gonna drop. I guess we can pressure a little bit with, like, Minor Wall Breakers. Um, he did go with Priest Skeleton. So, the Miner is probably not getting any damage yet. It's not gonna get any damage at all. And this guy is actually playing pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. I mean... For it being the first game in the Grand Challenge, he's playing this really well. So yeah, let's actually focus up. Let's make sure we don't go 0-1 and one, like in the first match. Okay, let's go here. Let's go with Queen. Or so, uh, excuse me, let's go with Valkyrie for the Queen. Let's go with Lok. Let's go with a Miner in the back. I think we need to Miner more often when he has like the um, Skeletons out of cycle. Because this way the Miner always gets like a good amount of damage. And yeah, looking pretty solid so far. We can actually get a pretty nice magic arch over here on the delivery. It's gonna get one hit, two, three. Okay, I will take that. That's a lot of damage. Let's go with skeletons. Let's go with Valkyrie in the back. And yeah, looking pretty solid. I think anytime we can take like a magic arch like that, we need to take it because it's like our main damage dealer in this matchup, I think. Besides the miner, of course. So yeah, let's go with wall breakers. Let's see what he's gonna drop. Okay, I'm gonna go with skeletons. And nah, I don't think it's worth to magic archer. I was thinking of using Magic Archer there, but I guess it's not worth it. Let's go with Valkyrie and let's go with a uh, Lok. I think it should be pretty solid defense. 
Let's go with Miner, let's go with Wall Breakers. And yeah, we're leading by a little bit of damage, but he's playing this really well, as I said, for it being the first match in the Grand Challenge. But oh my god, I don't know how that Wall Breaker actually slipped through and got a connection. So that's perfect for us. Brought down the tower all the way to 700 HP. And as you guys can see, Valkyrie in that situation is really, really good. Let's actually go with a Nado. I think Nado here is uh, fine, because then we just take care of the, um, of the Queen. Let's go with Magic Archer. Gets one hit, Valkyrie does get a connection, and that should be GG, Magic Archer. will finish the tower, so really good game, let's give him the good game. Really, really well played. He actually played it pretty well, I'm not gonna lie, for it being the first game in a Grand Challenge, which usually has like a lot of players kind of like playing random decks and stuff like that. I think that guy actually was pretty decent, so yeah, really nice game. And let's see what we can do in the second game. So usually when I have wall breakers with this deck in my starting hand, I definitely start with wall breakers. I usually play them in like the middle to split them up just in case like for example let's say he has a lock then he might lock one side but then on the other side we might get a connection like it kind of depends on the situation but most of the times I do end up splitting them. So let's go with skeletons over here let's actually go with Valkyrie as soon as we can and we should be good we do need to watch out because he did rage up so the okay yeah the wizard does get one hit but I guess it's fine. He wasted quite a lot of elixir so yeah as i said this is for example like kind of more random deck like he does have pekka but as you can see he has pekka e barbs but we still need to watch out like these type of players are like in my opinion the most dangerous players because you don't really know what to expect next like maybe he's gonna play i don't know mm, mean horde maybe he has like a graveyard maybe he has a freeze like you don't really know what he's gonna have so yeah it looks like he goes with valkyrie at the bridge mm, i guess we can just go with our own valkyrie and yeah good damage on the right side with the miner skeleton actually gets a small hit so that's also nice and i think we can actually go with wall breakers over here and why do i go with the valkyrie because as you guys can see the wall breakers kind of push the valkyrie well in this case it's gonna get distracted by the skeletons but i think it's still worth it to go with the valkyrie there um i guess we can just bump tower i think bomb tower in most of the situations is a really good and solid choice like it's a really good defense and after that, it's just gonna stand there for a while, so it's also annoying for him. I'm not sure what deck he has. As I said, he has a, like kind of a strange deck. He has Wizard, Witch, Ebar, Spekka, Rage. So yeah, as I said, we do need to watch out because those are the typical decks, which in my opinion are like the most annoying and most dangerous. So we definitely need to watch out. Like a big Pekka push could actually get quite annoying and could be kind of dangerous. So yeah, let's go with Magic Archer. I guess I'm gonna wall breakers on the right side to pressure. It doesn't really make sense to go with wall breakers into the P.E.K.K.A. because the P.E.K.K.A. Is, ju uh, is just gonna kill them. So it looks like he actually ignores both of them. That's really good for us. Looks like he has Fireball as well. So okay, interesting. Let's go with a look. Let's go with Valkyrie over here. Just to tank a little bit more. And let's then go with Skeletons to distract the Valkyrie. And at the same time, also distract the P.E.K.K.A. So yeah, really good defense. I really like the defense we just did. Um, let's go with wall breakers on the right side to pressure again. Okay, he's just gonna accept them. Sep is actually really good against wall breakers as well. Um, maybe we need to like minor wall breakers more. I think that combination could be really strong. So yeah, let's go with minor. Let's go with a look for the witch just to make sure it doesn't get like too much damage. And I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna pressure a little bit with Valkyrie here. I can just skeletons and as you guys can see the bomb tower is gonna do a really good job. At defending like most of them let's go with wall breakers like this let's go with magic archer i can go with a tornado like uh to pull everything backwards and i think yeah we could look but i guess it's not even worth it it's only gonna get one hit so perfect he actually ended up activating the king tower so that will help us quite a bit let's go with miner let's also pressure with wall breakers knowing that he has zap i don't think he's gonna be able to defend this really well well i guess uh, e-barbs will do a good job uh still one of them connects i don't know how sometimes the wall breakers just managed to to always get a connection let's go with bomb tower let's actually go with a miner and i think this should be good game minor wall breakers is actually really annoying for him to defend let's go with skeletons to distract and that should be game so yeah nice really well played as i said kind of a strange deck on the opponent's end but yeah i guess it's just um normal no like in the first few wins in the grand challenge it's usually what happens so it's still like worth it to play those games in my opinion like to show those games because sometimes in my opinion it's harder to beat like these type of decks and get like defense against like a for example a pekka wizard push instead of like for example a typical i don't know let's say like a 2.6 hawk rider player you know so yeah i rather like sometimes face these type of like strange decks and then i don't know maybe you guys can learn something from those type of defenses as well so yeah looks like we're up against maybe the same deck we played in the first game it's such a shame that we don't have magic archer because magic archer here would have been amazing against that royal delivery 
So yeah, let's go with Bomb Tower. And I think that should be pretty solid defense. If he uses the Earthquake, we can always end up nadoing maybe to the king. But yeah, I guess it's not, not necessary. Let's go with Wall Breakers. I guess he has Lock. Yeah, okay, he does have Lock. I guess I should have split them, knowing that he has Lock. Because this way, he can only Lock one side. And then the other side, maybe he had to spend, I don't know, like anything, you know. So yeah, let's go with Valkyrie over here for the Queen. We might have to Lock, because he did Fire Spirit. Um, yeah, let's actually Lock just to make sure it doesn't get any hits. And looking pretty solid. I think this is, yeah, the exact same matchup as we played before. The only question I have right now, does he have Poison or does he have Earthquake? Because obviously the first player had Poison, which is kind of like um, rare. So yeah, right now we should be able to get a really good Magic Archer. Unless he does like a crazy cannon prediction, we should be able to get a good connection. So as you guys can see, he gets one, gets two, gets three hits. Let's actually Skeletons as well, just to make sure we can keep the Magic Archer alive. And then he still needs to drop something. Okay, there you go. He goes with Queen. So yeah, pretty solid start. Um, we didn't have the King Tower activated yet, but I think we should be fine. Let's go with Valkyrie. Let's go with Lok. He does pop the ability. Let's go with Miner. And I think, yeah, this should be pretty solid defense. I don't think we're going to need anything. Okay, he goes with the Lok. I think we can actually go with Wall Breakers. If he doesn't drop anything, it should get a connection. But we might force out the cannon, which is, yeah, there you go. That's three Elixir for two Elixir. So it's perfectly fine. And as you guys can see, he's angry. Let's send him a little bit of BM. This re this emote actually got recently added. Um, and I'm... Well, I wouldn't say like a big fan, but I like it. It's definitely really cool. So yeah, let's go with Magic Arch in the back. I'm actually playing Magic Arch in the right side. Just to make sure we don't um, give him like any spell value. Because Earthquake plus Lock actually kills it. So yeah, let's go with Lock over here. Let's see what he's gonna drop. Okay, he goes with his delivery. I guess we can go with a Magic Archer. I don't know if it's worth it, but I think we might get like a few connections. Okay, one hit. Um, yeah, I think that's still fine. One hit and it might connect. Okay, there you go. Three hits, four, five. Oh my god, five hits from the Magic Archer. I didn't expect that much damage, but as you guys can see, sometimes it just gets so much damage like the Magic Archer. So yeah, let's go with Valkyrie. Um, and this should be GG. As you guys can see, like the defense, like the combination with like Valkyrie or like Bomb Tower and those type of troops are just insane. In my opinion, they just always get so much value. Um, and as you guys can see, like we have a really quick cycle. The average elixir of this deck, I think, is 2.9. So yeah, I think we don't even need to activate the king in this matchup. I mean, obviously, it's um, helpful. Like, I'm not saying if you have the opportunity, don't do it. Like, it's always helpful. I'm just saying it's not, like, necessary to win this matchup. So yeah, let's actually go with Tornado, knowing that he's probably gonna Skeletons. There you go. Let's go with Wallbreakers. And that should be a good game. 83 HP, 25. Yeah, the lock is gonna finish it, so perfect. Really well played. As I said, in today's video, our goal is to get to four wins. So I'm going to play, well, hopefully one more match. If we win one more, we reach your goal. Obviously, if we lose, well, I guess we will just play until we get to four wins. So let's open to the fourth match. Hopefully, we can just get a, cool, uh, a clean 4-0 win streak in today's video. And then the next video, I'm probably going to get to eight wins. And then in the next video, I'm going to try to complete the Grand Challenge winning 12-0. That will be like the perfect goal. Um, so yeah, let's go. Looks like we did find the match. Let's see if we can get the 4-0 in today's video with this minor Magic Archer Wall Breakers quick cycle deck. So let's split the Wall Breakers. As I said, I like doing this play in the beginning just because most of the times you force out like quite a lot of elixir from your opponent. In this case, he went cannon. That was a really good placement on his part. Okay, looks like he has Lock Bait. So let's go with Lock over there. We can prepare Magic Archer. Magic Archer is actually pretty good against Lock Bait as well because most of the times, as you guys can see here, like he cleans up pretty well. Uh, for example, Goblin Gang, sometimes it can get like a good amount of damage on offense. I don't know if he has like a Knight or something. I was kind of thinking of going pre-Tornado, um, but I guess it's not really worth it. I guess we're just going to leave it like this. Let's go with Valkyrie in the middle. And let's actually pressure a little bit with Wall Breakers. I want to see if he has like Lock or anything. Okay, he does have Lock. So yeah, I guess it's like um interesting Lock Bay deck to be honest. He has Golden Knight, Gang Spirit. Yeah, there you go. He goes with the Gang. So let's actually try to activate the King Tower as soon as we can with a Nado. Let's go with Lock on, on offense to kill the Princess. And I guess we can prepare the Nado just in case he goes like um, Goblin Barrel. So yeah, let's go with Nado like that. I went with the Skeletons on the left side just to make sure we don't take any damage. I guess it's not a big deal, but just like the small um, details, I guess, do matter in the end. So let's actually split wall breakers. I think it's better to split, as I said before, like it's more worth it to split because in this case, we might force out like a lock on one side. In this case, like an ice spirit on the other side. So yeah, slowly chipping down the tower on the left side with the miner. Let's go with magic archer over here to clean up the goblin gang. And looking pretty solid. I'm actually thinking about going Valkyrie and pre-natal. 
I think it's a pretty good play. Okay, let's see if it connects. Okay, one hit, two, three. I guess it's worth it. And as you guys can see, like he still needs to spend the elixir. So pretty good pressure over there. Magic Archer is gonna die, so that's unfortunate. But it's still worth it, I think. Let's go with Skeletons just in case he goes with Princess. Let's go with Bomb Tower quickly. And okay, looking pretty solid. I'm gonna pressure with Wall Breakers. I don't think he has Lock in Cycle yet, right? Or he does? Okay, he does. Yeah, so he does have a pretty quick cycle, especially with the champion as well, like the Golden Knight. He does have a really quick cycle, but we still should be fine. I'm guessing his last, uh, his last card, excuse me, is um, is Rocket. So we need to watch out with giving him like a really good Rocket. Let's go with Magic Archer. Let's go with Valkyrie to distract. And I guess I'm gonna Wall Breakers here. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit, and then I'm gonna Miner the back, and I'm gonna pre-lock onto the Princess. Okay, I guess it's not in range yet, so let's wait a little bit. But yeah, really good miner just because, as you guys can see, he's always like using the Goblin Gang to protect the Princess. So I guess it's worth it to go like uh, with miners like on the backside because then it's like unpredictable and he can't really get um, or like we get a little bit of damage. So yeah, let's go with miner. Let's go with the Magic Archer high. As I said, try to not give your opponent any rocket value because obviously, um, as soon as he can, he will obviously take the um, the opportunity. So let's go with a tornado. Hopefully, we can at least kill the Princess. Oh, that's such an unfortunate. If the needle was a little bit more to the right side, we actually would have gotten so much damage over there. And let's do the same play. I'm actually going to go with Miner to the tower, look over there to try and predict a Goblin Gang. This time he actually learned, like he learned from last time. He didn't went with a, um, what's it called, Goblin Gang onto the Princess. Let's go with a Magic Arch over here. Let's go with Valkyrie, let's go with Wall Breakers. And looking pretty solid. We're applying a lot of pressure, so that's really good for us. And, okay, let's go. He's probably going to pop the ability. Okay, he just goes with lock. So yeah, really well played on his part. Let's go with a bomb tower high. And let's actually have the Valkyrie ready. I don't know if you guys know this play, but if you're quick enough, let's see if we manage to do it. There you go. That's a small pro tip. Um, for those who didn't know, you can actually fully counter a Goblin Barrel with Valkyrie. Like if you're fast enough. So let's go with Miner. Let's go with Magic Archer. And let's prepare a Tornado on offense. I guess we can Nado um, now. Yeah, let's go with Nado now. Really good Nado. As you guys can see, Magic Archer is able to get a connection. It's gonna get so much damage over there. Oh my god, look at that Magic Archer. That was such a nice play. Let's go with Valkyrie. Let's go with Wall Breakers. Let's go with another Magic Archer. Let's go with Tornado on offense. And poor guy, we're actually... I think GG. Yeah, perfect. Really, really well played. Such a nice game to end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. As I said, sometimes like in the beginning of a grand challenge, you kind of face random decks. But in my opinion, it's still really fun. In my opinion, it's still worth to show. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys maybe uh, learned something. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos.